Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Then it was not meant for you. It was meant for someone else. All right. So we're going to get a romance angel for an overall energy. We'll get some tarot and then close out with an oracle. All right, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you bo your bond deepens. And we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And that, that those two definitely go together because you're not going to be able to get to know someone else if you're still f thinking about your ex, if that if your ex is still on your mind, if that energy is still surrounding you, you have to be able to release your ex so that you can get to know um, the next person or the person that you're with. Sometimes we start relationships with someone else because we don't really want to face that energy of releasing our ex, but that's something that we need to do before we get into a, a new relationship. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Nine of Wands, all right, that you're tired, right? Because if, you're, if you have that X energy around you, that can be tiring. Okay, we've, we've got all, all <laughs> the cards want to come out and say something today. All right, and then we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Devil card. So the Devil card could represent Capricorn, but I, I feel like this devil card goes back with that X energy that you have to work on getting rid of that X energy of those um, feelings of that X energy that it's a f I feel like it's it's affecting you but it's affecting your relationship you know, obviously, um, if you're thinking about someone else and you're in a relationship, that it's not fair to that person. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands. The Sun card. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So with this Knight of Cups, my first feeling is that maybe for some of you, you need to, sometimes we have to close those doors. We have to have closure. For, so for some of you, it may be um, that you have to reach out to your ex to kind of get that clarity because maybe there's something that you were wondering, something that you were thinking about, or something that you feel like the door was not closed. Obviously, I'm not telling you that you have to reach out to your ex that's something that you have to decide on your own. Sometimes it's best just to close that door and not deal with it. But then for some, it may be like you need that final closure. So that's something that you have to think about and that you have to decide what is going to work best for you. Okay. Um, so that you can have that closure. So you can remove this this toxic energy that I feel is around you. There's something that you have to work on. For some, it may be just, you know, closing that door and not, and just moving on from that because that is something that is, is, is not healthy for you. So for overall energy, we have the Knight of Cups. So that could be, like I said, the Knight of Cups is like reaching out to someone. It could be, like I was saying, your ex, if you feel that is something that you're, you want to do. Um, or it could be to that current person, if you are in a relationship, because we have that getting to know each other, that it could be that current relationship and say, hey, you know, I have some things that I have to deal with. You know, I am holding on to some ex energy. I just feel that being honest in a relationship is very important. And sometimes it may be that you have to say, hey, I've still got this ex energy going on. So I really need to some time to myself, you know, let's kind of 
take a step back from this relationship because I have to work on this first, you know, and I feel like just being honest because it's, <clears throat> it's something that you have to work on, but I feel like it's preventing that other person too, right? Giving that person that feeling that you want to be in this relationship, but yet, you know, you're, you're not being a hundred percent and it's not fair to that person. I'm not saying that's what you're doing. I'm just saying that, you know, for, for sometimes, I mean, I've definitely had that happen to me where I've been in, you know, started new relationships with someone and, you know, they're hanging on to this ex energy and it's like, okay, well then why are you wasting my time if you are still focusing on your ex? Like, that's not fair to me. I was thinking that you were single, that you were, you know, ready to start a new relationship, but yet you're bringing all this ex energy in and you're still talking to your ex. You're still thinking about your ex. You're punishing me for energy that your ex has done. And that's not fair to me. That's not fair for you to put that th th through, through to me. So I feel like if, if this is you, right, and you're dealing with X energy, it's not fair to put that onto that other person because you wouldn't want it done to, to you. You know, you wouldn't want to be in a relationship thinking that, you know, hey, this person's ready, but they're really not ready. I just feel like it's being in tune with yourself and figuring out what it is that you need to work on first because this... And I almost feel like this is tiring for you, right? This is current energy, the nine of wands, the three of pentacles and the devil card. It's that heavy energy. It's stuff that you have to work on. It's stuff that you have to look at. For future energies, we have the queen of pentacles. We have the ace of wands and the sun. So this is beautiful energy that's coming in for you. This is so exciting. This is good, right? It's working on that tough stuff first, right? Getting that out of the way dealing with it however you feel that you need to deal with it however you feel you need to work on it and by getting rid of that energy look at this beautiful right you're coming into your own I feel like that's you feeling more like yourself you're feeling happy you're feeling grounded you're feeling excited ace of wands you're ready to start new and the sun card right you're feeling happy you're feeling good and then it's maybe reaching out you know if if it was someone that you were dating and say hey you know I was able to work through that and if that doesn't work then it wasn't meant to be like not forcing something but if that person was there to either support you or help you through this or wants to reconnect with you then I feel like that's that's a good good thing and if that a per person appreciates that you're that you're like hey you're working through that first and you're not wasting their time and you're showing them right that you're willing to work on yourself and to start a new relationship in a positive way or it could be that if you're single these are the things that you need to work on and when you get you work through that, then you're ready to start a new relationship and really get to know the next person, right? The next relationship and being open to that and not having this X energy swirling all around you, wondering what if, or, you know, trying to compare the new person with the old person. Three of Pentacles. So you have the Three of Pentacles twice so I feel like there is definitely something that you have to work on and I feel like it goes back to that X energy there's something that you have to deal with right seven of wands or something that is coming back towards you that you have to kind of put that one across and say I, I've got to block this I've got to deal with this I've got to face this right I've got to do what's best for me and this could be something that Maybe you're still communicating with the ex and you're going back and forth or in your mind you're like, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like just having that closure, I feel like you need that closure. And then things really start to fall in place. I love that. It's the justice card. It's like those two sides are coming together and they're pointing right towards that sun card, right? And we have the sun card here. It's like, what are those things that you need to do to bring this positive energy into your life? And it's going to be exhausting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, doing this kind of work is definitely exhausting and it's tiring. And if you're in this energy, it's like, how can you put you know, energy towards a new relationship or getting to know someone else if you're having to deal with all of this heaviness and this this stuff going on there. Like, it's so exhausting. And maybe it is you have that time alone, you deal with this, 
and then you have a little bit more time to yourself to rest and relax and get over it and then you know recharge your batteries and start fresh exactly the knight of swords start fresh start new right feeling happy feeling good and it could be like i said reconnecting if it was that person you know reconnecting and say okay like now i'm ready to go all in this relationship or with your next person like going in feeling happy and feeling good and having let go of all of this energy right here all right so let's close out with an animal oracle Look at that bad spirit. How perfect is that? A rebirth is assured. And yeah, I mean, that's has to go with this reading, right? This rebirth, because you've released your ex, you've gone through this energy, you've done the, the work, you've let that go, you've stood up for yourself, you've made the decisions that you need to. And now it's like going from this heavy energy to this light and happy and positive energy and this freeing energy, right? So a rebirth is assured and that's exactly what this reading is. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.